What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, we're going out fishing. Going out to a uh, little smaller reservoir out here. Gonna do some smallmouth and largemouth fishing. Try and catch them on reaction, some swim baits, some top water. If we need to, we'll go down to finesse. We're gonna try and figure this lake out. Come along as we try and catch them. Big small mouth. Nice one, nice healthy one. Got that on that little, the little shower blows. Just saw a little difference in the bottom composition. Figured I'd put down the, the swim bait and pick up the top water. And I'm pretty sure that was my first cast. Awesome. casts. <laughs> that little shower blows, man. Get this hook out of you. Back to back cast. Nice smolly. Thanks, dude. Well, this is shaping up to be a, a good evening session. So, this is the lake that uh, Tanya and I got to try and fish a few days ago. Came back, figured I'd fish the evening session, and uh, <laughs> it's looking good so far.
so much easier to keep those treble hooks out of the net, but another nice one. That's back to back to back. <laughs> Not as big as the first two, but still healthy. one they're smashing the shower blows you know I just missed like three in a row and uh, just annihilating it and uh, missing them and then that one I got to come back it I paused it and let it sit for a second and it came back and just munched it so much fun Another big one. That is a big one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, oh boy. Dude. <laughs> that 
is awesome. Look at that. Don't thrash. Nice. This is getting stupid. I mean, that's that's close to five pounds. Thanks, bud. <sighs> Guys, I'm not sure what's going on. Like, I've totally intended on throwing swim baits and stuff and top water in the evening i guess it is evening but as soon as i saw that that bottom change a little bit and now we're back into this mud just saw a little bit of chunk rock and stuff and uh was banging bottom real hard with that swim bait so i picked up the top water Poof. probably gonna end the video right now it's got close to 20 pounds of smallmouth really really unexpected but awesome Another nice one on that top water. Tried a bunch of other things, man. They really seem to like that shower blows. Nice one. GoPro stop recording. All right, guys, so you can see over here, we got more rock. What I noticed coming across this area, a lot of it is silt. You know, that first area that I got on those good fish was a uh, different bottom contour. And uh, found a lot of the, the same silty stuff from the areas I fished. I did see one large mouth and a patch of grass reeds, but as soon as I got back over here to this, this gravel, this hard, I, I guess it's not really not gravel, it's more just more just hard bottom. Uh, started seeing fish and just caught another one on top water. This is turning out to be a pretty, pretty fun evening.
nice one on that top water. Tried a bunch of other things, man. They really seem to like that shower blows. GoPro stop recording. All right, guys, it was so good. Uh, went and called Tanya, and she is now out here, and we're gonna try and get her some fish. Hopefully, get her on some uh, on some top water. But if not, it's already been an epic, epic evening out, and uh, hopefully she can she can catch some. But uh, it's been a lot of fun just catching them on that top water. Again, like I said, anything any of those transitions from from that that soft bottom that silt uh you know if you could find rock or grass it seemed like those fish were there so uh let's give it a shot Like a five and a half pound smallmouth. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so Tanya comes out. I give her the rod that I've been catching them all on. I tie on a little whopper plopper and stick this like that little guy right there. Stick this on the second cast. Tip down, not tip down. Draw tip down, you don't want him jumping. Keep, keep pressure, no, 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 hold him up. Good, you got him. Take him. Keep him down. If he comes to jump, put your rod tip down. Come on. Yep. Come on, get him over. Get him over. Get him over. Get him over. I'm going to lose them. <laughs> yeah. Got that top water bait. Try to teach her how to walk that little shower blows and she's getting the hang of it. Here, can you get that hook out? Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, the sun is setting. Had an awesome, awesome evening out. Tanya got to come out and catch one or two. One? One. One missed one maybe. Um, teaching her how to walk that to little shower blows. A lot of people 
just like Tanya, you know, when they first start out, they, they hit it too hard and it brings that bait to them too quickly. You just want to real quick, do, 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 do. you just want that thing dancing side to side and hit it on slack line. That thing will get turned in 90 degrees back and forth. Uh, and that is really the, the secret with those. Same with walking a frog, but uh, great, great evening. Caught almost all of them, pretty much all of them, except for that one big one on the whopper plopper. Everything else, you know, I caught that big one on the whopper plopper. Everything else was on that uh, that shower blows. Just like every video, I'll link everything down below in the video description. But uh, pretty cool lake. Um, still have a lot to fish, but just ran out of daylight. Hopefully get out here in the next couple days and try and figure out some more. But if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We do three videos a week to simply to teach you guys how to catch more and bigger bass. If you guys haven't already subscribed, turn on that notification bell. That way you know when our videos are coming out. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.